if you're new here my name is bongi and on this channel i do vlogs some makeup tutorials and i just started doing kiss stuffing videos now i'm very much excited about this particular video because i am going to be setting up my binders especially my sinking find binders for the year of 2024 so i recently just came back to cash stuffing in september and september october november december i was going hard on it and i can't wait for 2024 and i just wanted to add some bits and pieces into my cash stuffing that are gonna motivate me to keep on going hard into cash stuffing and just make the whole cash stuffing system more easy and more enjoyable for me now i bought a couple of things from shein that i'm going to be sharing with you guys and these things are going to help me with my cash stuffing going into the year of 2024 now let's get into this uh shein haul this is everything that i got from shein we have some wallets some binders and some bits and pieces now i don't know where i'm gonna start i think we should first start with let's start with the binders okay let's just get them out of the way because that's like the most exciting part about care stuffing is the binders so this binder right here let me take it out of the plastic so that you can see it like really nice i will leave all the links to everything that i bought down in the description box so that you can buy it if you're in south africa i would highly recommend that you get your binders from shein you can also get them from take a lot if you feel like take a lot is much more um easier for you because in take a lot you can get it much quicker than when you're buying it on shein and also when you're buying on shein you really don't want to buy just the binder on shein but i will say take a lot is expensive i do have an everyday binder i didn't take it out because this video is going to be focusing on sinking funds but i do have an everyday binder if you've watched my previous videos you've seen it it's purple and i got that binder from take a lot i will also link it in this video but that binder i bought it for 400 rand and it came with eight envelopes it came with also some bits and things like some stickers and stuff but highly recommend that you first shop at shein okay also another thing this is my first time shooting in this angle so to be honest i don't even know if the camera is focusing or anything like that because i'm using my phone and i'm using the back camera so we're just gonna wing it <laughs> anyways yeah this is the first binder i got if you didn't know green is my favorite color and not just any green okay a, a, almost like a army green but a green that's in this somewhere in this range green is my favorite color so i had to get this one it's actually green and purple but yeah i had to get this one this one is just an empty binder uh it doesn't come with any envelopes or stickers and i wanted an empty one because my sinking funds i already have some sinking funds envelopes and that i just keep them in a plastic they don't have a binder so i just needed a binder so that i can just put those envelopes in here i love this binder it is such good quality i love it love it love it so this is how it comes it has silver rings let me just remove this paper right here so you guys can see it has some cut slots and then there's some spaces here or maybe if you want to put some cash or maybe your receipts you have these um you have these slots on the sides you have slots for your for your pen on here and also here i need to be careful that i don't burn any of these things as i said this is my first time setting up like this and having a candle lit so i need to be careful <laughs> what i also did before i i set up for this video i just wrote down all my sinking fund categories on the notes app and i added more currently i have i think i have less than 
like 10 categories for my sinking funds and i decided to add more for 2024 and we're just gonna see how it goes i feel like though i will be able to fund each and every one of those i think currently i have like 15 let me check because i'm using my phone let me check let me take out my ipad and check if i actually how many m uh, categories i'm gonna have for my second fund okay so here are all the categories that i'm going to be adding i currently have a uh, probiotic skincare grocery buffer dining phone bill show me some love miscellaneous yeah i currently have those ones and as you guys can see i've added quite a lot and i feel like all of these are sinking funds that i really really want i'm just gonna add all the ones that i can think of right now and if i feel like i can't find all of them then we'll start eliminating i don't know if that makes sense also this video is a little bit all over the place so excuse me for that so this was the primary binder that i got for myself but once i saw that i was gonna have a lot more envelopes i realized that i'm gonna need more than one binder because all of those are not gonna fit here especially once i start stuffing them so i decided to take this binder now this binder i had gotten for my sister i was gonna give it to my sister because my sister is interested in starting uh cash stuffing but when i realized that I'm gonna need another binder i've decided that i'm gonna take this one so let me just show you what it comes with so it comes with these uh stickers there's eight in one sheet they give you four sheets this one does come with labels uh, how do i okay yeah if you can't find a label that you're looking for in these ones you can just write it on this and paste it and then the binder inside it has budgeting sheets i'm not sure how many budgeting sheets it comes with and then it comes with like uh these envelopes these look like the envelopes that you normally get on a the hundred what is it the hundred envelope challenge binder you get two of those and then you get your regular binders and these are there's how many there's eight of the regular binders and the binder is quite similar to the green one you have your card slots here then you have some extra slots in this little flap right here and it also has a ruler so what i'm gonna do is since i don't need more envelopes and i've already made my own like uh, envelope uh, labels what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take all of these bits and pieces that came with this binder like labels these envelopes and the budgeting sheets i'm gonna remove them i'm gonna set them set them aside and i'm gonna buy another binder for my sister and then i'm gonna i'm gonna buy an empty one then we're gonna take everything that came with this binder put it with that one and then i'm gonna gift it to my sister what i've decided to do is i've decided to make this one my high High priority uh, sinking funds binder and then this one is going to become my low uh, priority sinking fund binder for those who don't know what sinking funds are sinking funds are like are uh, your savings for things that you know are gonna come in the future you know that you're gonna need money for in the future but you don't know how much those things are gonna cost i don't know if that makes sense and then with sinking funds you can split them into high priority or low priority high priority means that they are important like they are at the top of your list when it comes to you having money and to you funding them as low uh low priority is like it's not urgent for you to stuff them you don't need to stuff them every time you have money you know so yeah that's what we are gonna be doing and then as i said the reason why i'm not gonna be using the envelopes that come with that binder is because i bought my own envelopes now if you're in south africa there is a store that you can shop shop on for envelopes it's really really cheap as i say you can buy them also on take a lot but take a lot is very expensive but i will leave the link to that store down in the description box here i have i have five here and then there's there should be six in this one right here how do i open it let me open it for you guys so these I'm going to be using for my sinking funds. There's one, two, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? I needed an empty envelope like gently so I did remove one from here to use as an envelope for a, a bag to the bank guys sorry camera will shake here and there <laughs> I'm very much sorry about that yeah I needed an envelope for uh, to use for my bag to the bank cash oh yeah I had to remove one from here but yeah these are the A6 envelopes and I believe on Shein you can get the A7 and A5 also and then i decided to also get some budgeting sheets okay i love using these things to track my expenses to check each and every like okay so if you don't know i'm one of those people i track each and every purchase so these come in handy because if you're a person who probably like spends every day these fill up really quick and i'm one of those people i don't even know am i still recording let me check so i definitely needed more i think there's 80 of these and i got them for 120 if i'm not mistaken oh i love these love 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 these things so they come in blue yellow this what is this is this is it burgundy and then there's pink there's purple and there's black so these are gonna last me a long 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 time okay so i definitely feel like these were worth the price considering the amount that you also get and they are also double sided and then another purchase i'm very much excited about which i feel like is gonna be a game changer when it comes to cash stuffing the cash tray Oh, I'm so happy. I've been wanting this for so long. Now, these are actually called eyeshadow palette dividers or separators. I don't remember. This one is a small one and I think there's a medium one. I went with this small one and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. Also, when you if you're in South Africa, you can also get this on take a lot look forward to my next cash stuffing video now let's move on to the other stuff that i got got some wallets which i am so excited about showing you guys if you've been watching my other videos you know that i'm not sure if i needed a coin jar but after talking about it in one of my previous videos um millicent and omo you know what i order in my head i always say omo i don't even know if omo like do you prefer for me is it fine if i call you omo or do you want me to call you by your full name <laughs> as i was saying like i don't know if it's fine for me to call you omo you want me to call you by your full name i'm guessing it's your full name which is omonso not am i even pronouncing it okay you know what? i don't even know if that's your full name but like when i read your titles it shows like your comments it shows up as dear omonso so anyways but every time i read your comments in my head i'm like omo <laughs> but yeah omonso and millicent suggested that maybe i can get a coin purse or i can get i can get something that i can just put only the coins that are supposed to go in my binder and i can just put them in there so i decided to get this cute look at how cute this is this cute coin purse it like it reminds me of the coin purses that like our grandmothers have is this nude color with uh, like these tiny gold hearts and it's silver but yeah i think this is where i'm gonna put my coins i feel like it is the perfect size okay because here i'm only gonna put coins that are in my everyday a binder and then i'm gonna keep it the same location where i keep my everyday binder I'm not even sure about the quality of this video because the weather outside so gloomy started raining out of nowhere like two hours ago during this video i think right now is 3 p.m it started raining heavy raining okay so i'm not really even sure about the quality but yeah now the second wallet that i got this is the wallet that i'm going to be taking to work i do have another wallet you know i have a couple of small wallets that i got from mr price and then i have my other one black one but that one is so big i'm one of those people i, I like small bags my other wallets that i have they, they don't really fit my other bags and to be honest they don't really look that cute <laughs> okay so when i saw this one i had to get it like can you see this nude color and they had variety of colors at first i had red on my cut 
but I decided on this one. It is so cute. And this is just a simple one. This will just be for those days where it's like, okay, I'm not gonna carry lunch to work. I feel like buying something. Just put in my money here. I can just throw this into my bag. It's it's just so nice and I had to grab it when I saw it. Got this one. So first I wanted to get also guys look at my nails. I just did my nails before shooting this video. I had to. This was my first time trying out something like this. And this hand turned out way better because I'm right-handed. So so it was easy for me to draw the lines on this hand. These ones, yeah, they can they can do a little bit of more work but i just love them anyways <laughs> so i I thought that i was gonna be one of those boys you shaking but at first i wanted to get a a7 binder because it looks really 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 cute and i wanted to get it for like when i'm running errands i can just put all the money for whatever i'm going to be needing to buy on that errand for instance like normally end of the month or beginning of the month when i need to do grocery shopping i sometimes end up having to go maybe i'll say i'm going to checkers and then i need to go to uh clicks or this camp and then i need to go to pep home maybe or like the plastic store stuff like that so that's multiple categories so normally what i will do is i'll bring all the envelopes for all those shops which is the grocery envelope the toiletries envelope household envelope and the decor envelope i'll bring all of them and those envelopes are like they these i bring like these ones the a6 ones and i put them in my bag and i don't i don't like taking them with my binder because my binder has it just has a lot of money and i just don't like taking the whole binder with me so i rather remove these so i was gonna get the a7 binder to make things easy but then again i was like i have small bags and the a7 binder to me looks like it's a bit big it's not gonna fit my small bags so i was like okay i started searching on shein a cute wallet that i can use also is an a7 came across this one how cute is this wallet oh my gosh i love 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 it and guys you would not believe how much this thing was i think this thing was 37 rand and i saw one that was similar at fushin for a hundred rand i also do want that one that i saw from fushin this is really really cute so let me show you how it looks on the inside so on this one right here we have slots for your cards. You can either put your cards or you can put money or you can put your receipts. Then we have a zipper for your coins. What? Oh, I thought it was so shut. We have a zipper for your coins. And then let me show you what the other side has. This other side, this is the reason why I bought this one. Look at all these slots. Can you see the vision? Look at all these slots that you like so so nice so what i'm thinking of doing is i'm thinking of uh just printing out some paper that's like probably this size and on each paper i'm gonna write a category and then i can just slip those pieces of paper here slot them in there and then each slot will be for whatever category i'm thinking of for instance if i want to put my grocery money in here and print out like probably a card size print out and just write groceries on it slot it in here, in here and then put my grocery money in there and then the next one do the same toiletries put my money in there and then like guys can you see the vision can you see where i'm going with it and it's so many slots i love 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 this oh so 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 cute that is everything that i got from shein which i am so so excited you know using in 2024 for my cash stuffing i'm really really excited about it the last thing that i want to show you that's also I like make his stuffing just an enjoyable thing we're gonna be like a silly thing but i had fun creating these okay i made my own labels for my envelopes okay on my previous video you did see me put these on my binder 
but you guys saw that they were small they were not the right dimension okay and i feel like i've gotten the dimensions correct let me remove them so i just printed them in like your normal printer paper at work now that i've gotten the dimensions correct i am going to go to a printing store to get these perfect like printed on that is it hard stock paper that's how they're gonna look once i have them in my envelopes oh guys i am so so excited about cash stuffing in 2024 should we put everything together yeah, let's just do that let me set up my binders my sinking fund binders with you guys i think that's just gonna be like maybe music playing and you guys are just gonna watch me set it up and then this plastic has all my sinking funds because i didn't have a binder and i was waiting for the binders from shein now these are my envelopes these are my envelopes and because i ran out of checking sheets i ended up having to make my own let me just show them but you guys saw me make these checking sheets these are the checking sheets and this piece of paper came with the binder that i got from take a lot so i just used these pieces like these paper to make the checking sheets and um i will be transferring all this information into the new checking sheets you know just so that i can have everything be cohesive yeah so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put all of these in we're gonna separate them into my high my 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 high and low priority sinking funds and then we're gonna put them in here so you guys are just gonna watch me do all of that I see the light shining on the stage This is what I imagine every day Checking up at Jari Konga so Come and all the hand and so can I move your way to Jai Ronda? They say that I could fall.
you just saw me put all my envelopes and my labels into my binders i feel like my envelopes are pretty self-explanatory the ones that i've added i feel like i don't really need to go into detail and just explain what they mean but if you if you have questions you can just leave them in the comment section and if you want and maybe i can just touch on those questions in an, in an upcoming video oh guys please excuse english is not my mother tongue okay it's not <laughs> but yeah um, that is everything for 2024 this is not definite it might change maybe a month into 2024 or a couple of months into 2024 or i might keep everything like this throughout 2024 2024 i don't know but yeah the nice thing about budgeting is that if you keep on reviewing your budget you're reviewing your lifestyle you'll find that some things you actually don't need and maybe you need a little bit more of other things okay but if i make any changes i will make a video and let you know before we end this guys i just wanna i just have two questions and one is for the people who have been care stuffing and that is are you guys changing anything in your care stuffing system are you adding anything or are you removing anything and for the people that are interested in doing care stuffing but have not decided on doing it i want to ask you guys what is holding you back okay so let's just talk down in the comment section and yeah i will see you guys on the next one don't forget to like the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed share the video with it, it like share the video everywhere youtube tiktok instagram share it share it share it and yeah i will see you guys on my next one bye